Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about this little thing, which is the Rubik's Cube and how to solve it. This became the bane of my existence for a number of days where I couldn't sleep at night until I figured out how to solve this. So I'm also going to be talking about what solving the Rubik's Cube taught me about life and problem solving. So we're going to switch over to the view where you can just see my hands and my desk. So uh, let's get after it. Okay, so here I have a Rubik's Cube. This is a uh, toy that was invented by a Hungarian. Uh, his name is here on this side. Now this was a famous, it uh, became a very high selling uh, toy back in the 80s. Uh, it's also featured in the movie The Pursuit of Happiness. It's what Will Smith's character was solving uh, that impressed uh, you know, the guy that later on hired him. So yeah, now this thing is something that has given me sleepless nights in trying to solve, but you know, what I'm gonna talk to you today is about what the Rubik's Cube taught me about life and problem solving. Now there's six steps to problem solving, which are over there. Now the first is to identify and define the problem. Now, Kindlin's law is that if you can write the problem down clearly, then the matter is half solved. Okay, so if you can write down the problem clearly, then the matter is half solved. My problem is I have no idea how to solve this thing, or I had no idea how to solve this thing. It's got four trillion, you know, different combinations and only one solution. So step number two is generate possible solutions. Now, left on my own accord, I would be an old man with an unsolved Rubik's Cube. So what did I do? I Googled it. And upon Googling it, I found this here solution sheet. Now, I'm like, okay, fine. Evaluate the alternatives. That is step number three. Now, I feel like this sheet is fine, you know, for me, and I'm gonna follow it. So I've decided a solution, which is step number four. Now, I'm gonna go ahead with that. And now step number five is implement the solution. So this is me implementing the solution. The first thing you need to do is pick a color. Now know that these middle blocks never move. Only these ones around do, okay? So pick a color. I always choose white because it's got the little Rubik's Cube sign on it and I think it's really cool. So then we go with the sides, okay? So here we go. We're gonna make a plus sign here. All right, now there's green, green, white, white, okay? Now there's an orange and there's a white here. So we need to do this. Great. Orange, white. Blue, white. Let's try and solve this here. Blue and white. Excellent. Here we go, here we go. Amazing. So now we have red, red, white, 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 orange, and then both sides match. Now we're gonna do these four corners. Now, even though this is here, the colors on the side don't match. So let's, let's try and figure that out, shall we? Line it up like this, and then... All right, there we go. Now we've got the white part, uh, part done and you can see this is all done. Now we're gonna fill out these corners of the side. Okay, so you can see that these are done. 
and w the white is still there. Now it's the top part that we need to do, the yellow. We're gonna make a, we're, we're gonna first make a plus sign here. So let's go. Okay, that was easy. Now we're gonna fill out these four corners. There we go. Now the only thing left to do now is this part. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this middle part to match this. Alright, so let's go. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's try that again. All right, now these two match. Excellent. Now we're gonna try and get these sorted out. So let's try that. And guys, there you have it. A solved Rubik's Cube following the six steps of problem solving. So, identifying and defining the problem, generate, generating possible solutions, evaluating alternatives, deciding a solution, implementing the solution, and the last step to problem solving is evaluate the outcome. Now I feel pretty satisfied with this. What do you guys think? Now there's another step I usually end up taking, which is just, you know, twisting it like so, making it a little bit more, like it's just, it feels like it's cooler you know it's just that so guys thank you so much for watching my video do give me a like and do subscribe to the channel it does help me out a lot uh thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video